Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, well, welcome. And just like I promised, we're going to be talking about Bridgerton Season 2, just like I did with Bridgerton Season 1, and also about the second book in the Bridgerton series, which is The Viscount Who Loved Me. Before we start with the review, I must say that The Viscount Who Loved Me is the book that I love the most in the Bridgerton series. So I really had big um, and high expectations when it came to the show. I'm going to be talking about the show and the scenes that I liked the most, what I think worked and it didn't. I'm going to be talking also about the book and the differences that you can find in the book and why I think I liked the book better. And also we're going to be talking about how I decided to watch the show uh, so it wasn't a complete disappointment for me. So let's talk about the show first. In the show, we are introduced to Kate and Edwina Sharma, as well as um, their mom, which is uh, Lady Mary. And uh, it is the same in the book. The only thing that changes is that the um, Sharma family has no, they didn't come to England or they are not um, trying to get Edwina married just because they need the money from Lady Mary. Uh, parents so that is a basic difference it didn't bother me that much I do not think that I'm going to be talking about the big differences like the Queen of England in the book there's no such thing I talk about that in the first video that I did for this series talking about Bridgerton season one and the first book that you can I so I'm not going to be spending much time talking about that because those are the differences that everyone <laughs> knows but alas in the show, I really liked all of the scenes where Anthony and Kate, they were alone or they were acting um, only with each other and not with other people. <laughs> they got all of the important scenes from the book inside of the show. For example, the Palma got um, the game, uh, Cricket. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Is it Cricket? Is it Paul, Paul, Palma something? I do not know that I will put it right here. Um, when I'm editing the video. I really enjoyed that scene. I think it was pretty playful and I really enjoyed that because I got to see Anthony like laugh with um, Kate as well and I really enjoyed that. In this show this season, I must say that I really enjoyed the fact that um, there wasn't um, so much of not safe for work um, scenes but we really wanted to have a lot more and that was amazing the way that they uh, managed to give us desire and passion without actually giving us the whole thing I think that the moment that they finally got together and they had their like loving moment they're not safe for work moment um it was beautiful it was so cute and so safe it made me feel safe and i think that that is one of the things that happened in season one that they were really smart in not letting the same thing happen in season two which is that with daphne and simon's story they had a lot of passion and they were like young kids and i feel like with kate and anthony they had a lot of restraint especially Anthony in the show and I really enjoyed that because they really wanted to be together but they had duties and responsibilities. I really enjoyed this show in that aspect. What I did is that because I read the book, the second book first, The Viscount Loved Me, I tried to lower my expectations as much as I could good and also I tried to watch the show just as a show. I wouldn't compare the show when I was watching it um, with the book. I tried to see it as it is just a show. It has nothing to do with a book that way I could really enjoy it. Um, I'm not a book purist so I don't feel like 
every movie or every series that they that someone does based in a book has to be exactly the same sometimes you can better a series or a tv show or a movie um and not be the same that it is in the book um a lot of the times they fail but I think that with season two, it wasn't a complete disappointment. One of the things that I did not actually enjoy is that too much was happening in the background, if it makes sense. I, I feel like they didn't give us enough um, Kate and Anthony time um, together as a couple, like they learning to love each other with their flaws and with the traumas that they actually had both i mean kate was always sacrificing for her sister and her mom and she put what she wanted all the time to the side and if she could give everything to edwina she would do it and anthony he had this big trauma about not wanted to suffer because of love because he saw his mom which I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when I'm talking about the book. But yeah, they had traumas, they had a lot of flaws that they could... It would be so beautiful to see them work on those things together as a couple already or after they get married and not just seeing the desire and the wanting and... Yeah, I would like to see a lot more, a lot more of Kate and Anthony like relationship and not so much in the background. I think that they did the same thing that happened in Game of Thrones at the end in the eighth season. They wanted to do too much and also overly dramatic. There is no need, their relationship. And I think that the season two of Bridgerton had so much to give and it was amazing. I really loved it. I have watched the second season like four times already and my boyfriend is watching it as well so fifth time that i'm going to watch it because i loved it but i think that it could be so much better if they tried to do one thing at the time i didn't really care for eloise's story like i watched it because i love eloise as a character but it wasn't her time i think um, I didn't really care for her obsessing over Lady Whistledown. I did like when she had that interaction with the Queen, but I don't know, it was kind of like more concentrated on how Anthony and Kate relationship was doing <laughs> and the love triangle between Kate, her sister, and Anthony, which I must add if i dare i do not think that the pinnacle of the love triangle is anthony i think is kate just because kate is the one that had to decide between the love for her sister which she is always sacrificing for and the love for anthony or doing something for herself anthony really didn't have that love triangle because he was never ever interested on Edwina. Um, um, I love the character of Edwina in the book, but in the series I didn't really enjoy her that much. I feel like she just wanted to be her own person, which is okay, but when it came to Anthony, she only wanted to be a Vicantess, that's it. She just wanted to have that life, and she says that on one of the scenes. So I really didn't, I didn't really enjoy her that much, that character, in that series, I did like it that the light um, shined a little bit more on her character because in the book, she kind of um, is left <laughs> in the dark for a long while and she's just like one of the supporting characters but on the show, she's more of a uh, main character. I really liked that. It's just that I do not think that... I don't know. Maybe she wasn't herself she wasn't her own person so she needed to learn how to be her own person and maybe she wanted the life with anthony because she was mirroring what um her sister wanted i do apologize my camera kind of doesn't like me today so it turned off and i had to charge it and all of that well, well 
Um, let's continue talking about the book. So this is a copy of the book that I have. I love it. It is amazing. And like I said, this is my favorite book of the whole Bridget Jones series, just because of Anthony and Kate's relationship. In the book, I do think that the characters are better developed just because the stories are, you have the opportunity to read the stories that are happening right now that the author is telling you and also the stories of the past. So for example, for Anthony, um, he wasn't only afraid of falling in love or feeling love just because her mom, um, his mom suffered a lot, but it has a whole explanation. So. As you guys saw in the show, or if you read the book, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, Anthony always thought that his dad was the greatest man that could ever exist. So he died really young and because of a bee. So for Anthony, the fact of, or, or the idea of being older than his dad and living, like alive and ha being happier than his dad was completely unimaginable like that wasn't going to exist he was never going to grow um, old he wasn't going to be happier than his dad because he didn't think that he was as great a man as his dad so that is one of the things that the show doesn't let you like no doesn't show it to you i so when i watched the the show for the second time i saw that in a couple of scenes anthony was always watching um or looking at um his dad portrait and i think that maybe they wanted to let you know that he believed that he was less than his dad or that he admired his dad a lot but they didn't actually give you that information in the stories or the peak um what they showed you um for what happened in the past but in the book you get to read that and you get to understand why anthony thought about that he also had a longer relationship with his dad than any of um his siblings everything that happened after his dad died he had to take over everything every little thing he had to see his mom suffering and then also you get to see how he doesn't want to fall in love one because he saw how his mom was suffering and also because he thinks that he's going to die young so why fall in love with someone who is going either to make him suffer or he's going to make her her suffer so all of that explanation and all of that those moments you get to read in the book but you don't see them as much in the show and I think that that is one of the things that the people who were doing the show forgot just because they wanted to do other things in the background they wanted to talk about Lady Whistledown they wanted to um, get into Collins and Penelope's story they wanted to give a lot of screen time to Eloise to the character I'm not talking about the actor so I think that they didn't actually use all of the time explaining all of Kate's and Anthony's stories and they also change a lot in the book also Anthony never proposes to Edwina which I think is one of the great things that the book has because you're reading the book now and I wouldn't be <laughs> I wouldn't marry someone who wanted to marry my sister um, who wanted who proposed to her am I crazy yeah I didn't I, I don't think that that actually I didn't like that about the show I think that that was completely unnecessary and that is one of the things that I like about the book they never get to the altar what no they never get to the altar um he never proposes to edwina edwina never gets angry at kate and anthony because she's in love with anthony because she says so in the show like no never um she actually uh, ends up with dorset is it i don't remember the name of the person that edwina ends up with but it's not Anthony <laughs> Bridgerton. In that book, also the scene where 
um, cape is Sting by the Bee is a little bit different. It becomes more inappropriate than it actually was in the show and they are discovered and so they have to get married they get married and then you get to see the whole Kate uh, Anthony's and Kate relationship how it grows from a I desire you but I will never love you to a I desire you I think you're the most beautiful woman that I have ever known and I also love you and I think that that was a whole lot better because I really wanted to watch them grow. Again, I do think that the show did a great job, but you, if you have read the book, you have to watch the show as a complete whole different thing. And it's just a show that seems to be like the book, but it's not based on the book. Even though it has a lot of things that you that happened in the book so i'm really happy about that they actually put a lot of scenes that i really loved into the show which thank you i'm grateful about that oh yeah i almost forgot one of the most important things it's background so in uh, they never mentioned this in the show they only mentioned that she was uncomfortable when was raining or when uh, with thunder and all of that but they never mention why they give you like a little bit of information about oh my dad used to read to me in the monsoons so now every time that it rains I remember him or makes me remember him um, that is not at all how it happened in the book so he, um, her dad died yes that's true but she was not uncomfortable. She was horrified every time that it rained or every time that there was a thunderstorm or anything like that because she witnessed how her mom died in a thunderstorm in a, in a, in a thunderstorm. What? <clears throat> she witnessed how her mom died in a thunderstorm. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. And it was a really ugly thing to see and she became like traumatized by it. But they didn't mention that in the book. I think that in the book the scene in the library is much more emphatic and so much better. I really wish they would have put the whole uh, library um, scene because it is amazing. Do I think that the characters are better developed in the show or in the book? Yeah, in the book. Do I think that that Anthony's and Kate's story got little time, little screen time? Yes, I do. I would love to see the actual relationship, like not like not like what, what relationship, but how they grow to open themselves to one another because they're really close. Um, people they they do have a lot of traumas a lot of flaws so i would love to see that um, growth that they have in the relationship i don't know if it's just me just let me know in the comments but again i do love the show and i do love the book i think that the show compared to the book mm, mm, the show is not better than the book but the show has some things that i really enjoy i do love the character of the queen and the show and the book doesn't have her. She's so <laughs> perky <laughs> and smart and she takes control of the situation. I loved how she actually helped Kate in the show and Anthony's relationship when she said, oh no, I just simply changed my mind. She was like, then why is no one dancing? And I love that. I completely love her character. I am really excited about season three. I am a Bridgerton lover or the, all the way. Um, the books, the show, I do not care. I just want to see fancy people talking in a really fancy way, eating fancy things, dressing in colorful ways because I am a period drama lover. So I do not care that much about how factual it is when it comes to the book. I just want to see the show and read the books. I'm happy um, either way. I cannot actually imagine what comes next for season three. I am really excited about it because I have a theory. So in the books, after Anthony's and Kate comes Benedict and Sophie's relationship. But I do not think that um, 
taking into account what happened in season two, I do not think that Benedict is actually ready for Safi yet. So I think that maybe they're going to go towards um, Collins and Penelope's. Also taking in consideration that um, Lady Whistledown was discovered by Eloise, which was something that I never imagined it would happen because yes, Eloise is very, very smart, but also Lady Whistledown. And I think that they're going to go with Collins and Penelope's story, even though they're not gonna end up marrying each other yet. So I don't know, is that, it's like a small theory that I have. Okay, so that is everything. If you want to know where I got this beautiful book, um, it was Amazon. They have this beautiful collection. It is amazing. One day I will show you all of them. Let me know if you actually want to see them. I love this cover. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed about it is that it doesn't have the Netflix sticker. Netflix, we love you, but stop doing that to our books. Just sell them as if. Don't put your sticker on it. Like, we love you, but don't put your sticker on it. Sometimes it's not even a sticker. It's like a patch there that you cannot take out. Thank you guys. I hope that you liked the video. See you soon.